Okay, today's tutorial is going to be on a really fun song from the 1978 Jethro Tull release, Heavy Horses, and the song is One Brown Mouse. A really fun song to play, and it's, it's not real difficult once you get the hang of the fingerings of the chords, which are in a, uh, because it's in a different altered tuning, which we'll get to here in just a second. Um, the chord shapes might not be familiar to you if you haven't played in dad-gad tuning before. But I am right now I'm tuned in standard tuning, and uh, we're going to get down to dad-gad in just a moment. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Heavy Horses was really, to me, the last true great album that Jethro Tull did. Uh, there was, you know, spotty good material later on, some from Stormwatch some from uh, Broadsword and uh, the Dire Straits stuff, you know, sound and stuff was pretty good at times. Uh, but to me, I just always preferred that very Celtic uh, marriage of Celtic music and, and rock, heavy guitars mixed in with the acoustic instruments, mandolins, things that uh, I just really enjoyed that phase of Jethro Tull more than the latter. Um, I think Ian was starting to have some voice difficulties. If you notice, there was a big change from the previous albums to that sort of raspy voice on Heavy Horses, and a lot of people have conjectured whether that was uh, done on purpose or whether it was he was having voice troubles, but I, I believe that he was having voice difficulties by that time. Uh, if you're not medically inclined, uh, singers get what are called uh, singer's nodules, and it's caused by chronic irritation and inflammation of the vocal cord. And a nodule forms in that area of inflammation. Uh, these are also called granulomas sometimes, a more medical term for it. Uh, but these start impairing the uh, flow of air through the vocal cords and start to you know, make the voice raspy sometimes or change the character of it. Uh, in the most extreme case, sometimes just resting the voice, these will disappear. But if, the, if it's kept up and the vocal abuse keeps on, then these uh, can become really chronic and permanent. And the only way to remove them is via surgery. And I know he did have vocal cord surgery in the 1980s, which uh, might not have been real successful, uh, which is a shame, you know, because he was such a great singer. And it was hard to see him, uh, hard to see him these days because he really does struggle. But anyway, getting back to the song itself, I'm in standard tuning and I've tuned up to a tuner, so I'm going to let you tune to my guitar. So now we're going to get into dadgad tuning. We're going to lower our bass string from E down to D. And because our D string is already tuned to D, we can use that to guide us. Alright, so that's D. We're going to lower our B string down to A. And then we're going to lower our top E string down to D as well. So now we have all these Ds. We have all those notes of D. So you can almost already hear a sort of a Celtic sound to it, right? And uh, this is a very popular tuning in uh, Ireland, Scotland, and Scottish uh, type music, uh, Celtic music, because of, it does have that distinct sound. And what's great about it is you can drone these top strings when you play different chords.
So you can hear that very Celtic sound already. It's very cool. Almost inspires you to write a Celtic melody, right? Something like that. So that would be impossible to do in standard tuning. Couldn't do it. All right, so <laughs> enough time wasted, right? Let's get into the tutorial. All right, so the opening phrases start on just, we're gonna play it all on the G string. We're going to strum down, and we're going to play all these bottom strings open. And then we're going to do a hammer-on pull-off. And that's our finishing of the phrase. chord. So if we look at this chord, we're playing the A string open. Got our index finger here. Got our middle finger here. And then we've got our th third finger here. Already very Celtic sounding, right? Alright, so What we're going to do here So that's the opening phrase. So let's break that down. Here's the melody that we're playing with the chord. That's the melody we're playing. So So that's how it would sound strummed. And then we're going to change just going to put one finger here. So that's what's going to come after this. Then he kind of does these upstrokes on that note when he comes back to it. Kind of a little bit staccato. And then we're just repeating that open phrase again. So we're going to hit that note three times when we end it. I don't think if you're playing this song solo, you'd necessarily have to do that, but that's just what's on the record, so that's what I'm going to show you. And then he's right back into that opening phrase. Smile, and then the vocal starts. So start from the top. Oh, smile. 
Take some tea with me a while Brush away that black cloud from your shoulder <clears throat> So we can see what he's doing here is he's playing the melody that he's singing for the most part. He's playing the same lines on the guitar. Smile, you little smile Take some tea with me a while Brush away that black cloud from your shoulder So see how all those lines are um, what he's singing. I'm sure that's how he composes these things as he runs, he figures out these lines, melodic lines on the guitar and then puts the vocal in there. So let's look at that closer. You little smile. D string. Take some tea with me a while. Take some tea with me a while. And then this chord, we got a finger on the A string, and the middle finger up here on the B string all the strings in between open, but we're not pay playing the top or the bottom. And then we're just gonna do that with our little finger. Because that's what he's singing, once again. Brush away that, brush away that black cloud from your shoulder starting on the verse first verse smile your little smile take some tea with me a while brush away that black cloud on your shoulder twitch your whiskers feel that you're really real Another tea time, another day older Perform breath on your tiny hands Wish you were a man Every day can turn another page Behind your glass you sit and look At my ever open book one by mouse sitting in a cage. So this brings us to the bridge. Do you wonder if I really care for you? So the chords we're playing there, if you think about this chord that we've been playing a lot, we're going to be sliding that around. So it's very easy, actually. It's about as easy as it gets. So we're just going to be sliding that chord around. Do you wonder if I really care for you? Am I just the company you keep? Which one of us so we're going to just move that up one fret. Which one of us? Now this one's a little bit different. Fretting this on the A string, that on the D string, that on the G string, and then we're playing these two notes open because we're barring all the way across. Which one of us exercises on the old treadmill? Yeah. Can't go up that high, so I just have to sing it. Which one of us exercises on the old treadmill? And then we're back to this chord. Who hides his head 
pretending to sleep. So back to this chord shape. I'm just gonna do that. So we go. Wonder if I really care for you. Am I just the company you keep? Which one of us exercises on the old treadmill? Who hides his head pretending to sleep? And then we're going to skip up to the E string. And that's what we're going to do. So we're just out playing the opening again. Except we're not we're not going to land on that chord. We're going to So let's look at that closer. I'll do that again. That's what it sounds like at tempo. All right, so now that brings us to the modulation. So it just goes up. Excuse me. Out of tune guitar drives me crazy. So it brings us to the modulation. Now we're just going to be playing all the same chords that we were playing down here. Except we're going to be barring this like we're using it at a capo and playing the same chords up here. And when he plays it live, Ian just strums these chords because the keyboards and Martin Barr are providing the melody during this. So if you wanted to incorporate this modulation, you might just hum the melody. be back into it. <clears throat> um, I did work out where you can play the melody, but it's a little bit of a stretch and it's a little bit difficult transitioning between the chords. But you could play the melody on guitar like this.
smile. Now I'm not going to go back over that <clears throat> because it's just like the opening verses. Your little smile, take some tea with me a while. Brush away that black cloud from your shoulder. So let's get on to the end of the song. One brown mouse sitting in a cage. One brown mouse sitting in a cage. One brown mouse sitting in a cage. Kind of like the uh, little passage that we did earlier, but a little different. I'll slow that down. And then the closing is that little guitar run that he does, which goes like this. So let's look at that. And then just hit all these upper three strings open. Come up, come up to this note, excuse me. And then we're just going down the scale from here. Hit the G open. So pretty simple, just going down the scale. Then we're coming up here, playing the D string here, G string here, E string here, and then sliding up to hit the harmonic to end. So hopefully uh, you can have some fun with that song because it is a really fun song. Your little smile, take some tea with me a while. Brush away that black cloud from your shoulder. Twitch your whiskers, feel that you're really real. One brown mouse sitting in a cage. One brown mouse sitting in a cage One brown mouse sitting in a cage